Hello and welcome back to the Information World channel. Today, we bring you the sad news of the passing of seven remarkable figures who left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, music, and culture. As we honor their memory, we take a moment to reflect on the incredible legacies they've left behind. This episode is dedicated to these legends. If you've been touched by their lives and work, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel as a tribute to their enduring influence. Your support means a lot as we remember these icons, and it helps us continue to share stories that celebrate the impact of extraordinary people. Now, let's take a moment to remember them. Alan Svensson. One of Sweden's most respected actors and directors, Alan Svensson passed away on November 21st, 2024, at the age of 73. Born on February 16, 1951, in Stockholm, Sweden, he grew up in Trano, Vestland. His childhood years were marked by a developing interest in the arts, which later became his life's calling. At the age of 17, Alan moved to Verma to continue his education, and during these years, his passion for acting took root. He studied at the prestigious Göteborg Acting School, where he honed his craft preparing for a career that would go on to shape Swedish culture. He became widely known for his role as Gustav Svensson in the beloved Swedish sitcom Svensson Svensson, a comedy that ran from 1994 to 2008. Alan's portrayal of a warm-hearted, simple-minded postman captured the hearts of millions. His ability to bring humor, sincerity, and heart to his characters made him a household name, and his performances have become a staple in Swedish television history. But Alan Svensson's talents weren't confined to comedy. His versatility as an actor was showcased in dramatic roles across various genres, from TV projects like He Borna and Hassel, to significant theater performances. He also became a talented voice actor, lending his voice to beloved characters in Swedish versions of Disney and Pixar films, making him a favorite not just among adults, but also among children. His battle with prostate cancer ultimately claimed his life, but his legacy as a versatile, kind-hearted artist remains immortalized in his extensive body of work. Alan Svensson's impact on Swedish culture will never be forgotten. Peter Sinfield, the brilliant poet and songwriter, passed away on November 21, 2024, at the age of 80. Sinfield's genius shaped the world of progressive rock with his philosophical lyrics and complex compositions defining the genre. Born on December 27, 1943, in Fulham, London, Peter co-founded the legendary band King Crimson in 1968 alongside guitarist Robert Fripp. As the mastermind behind some of King Crimson's most iconic works, Sinfield's lyrics were poetic and rich with surreal imagery and philosophical musings. Tracks like 21st Century Schizoid Man and The Court of the Crimson King became anthems for a generation, pushing the boundaries of what rock music could express. These early albums were groundbreaking, setting the stage for the progressive rock movement and elevating it to an art form. In addition to his work with King Crimson, Peter Sinfield's songwriting prowess extended to collaborations with other musical giants like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and he penned pop hits like The Land of Make Believe for Bucks Fizz and Think Twice for Celine Dion. His influence stretched beyond rock music into pop, cementing his status as one of the greatest lyricists of all time. Though Sinfield's solo album still wasn't a commercial success, it stands as a testament to his avant-garde approach to music and is beloved by progressive rock aficionados. Peter Sinfield's profound impact on the music world will continue to inspire for generations to come. Quincy Jones, the legendary American music producer, composer, and arranger, passed away on November 19, 2024, at the age of 91, due to complications from pancreatic cancer. With a career that spanned more than seven decades, 
Quincy Jones left a profound legacy in the music industry. Born on March 14, 1933 in Chicago, Illinois, Jones' early years were marked by adversity. Raised in a challenging environment, he found solace in music, initially making a name for himself as a trumpeter before becoming one of the most influential producers in history. Quincy worked with some of the biggest names in music, including Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, and Dinah Washington. But it was his collaboration with Michael Jackson that truly solidified his place in music history. As the producer of Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad, Jones helped transform Michael Jackson into an international icon. Thriller remains the best-selling album of all time. Jones didn't just revolutionize pop music. He made significant contributions to jazz, film soundtracks, and television, including the iconic Theme 4. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Despite facing personal challenges, including surviving two brain aneurysms in 1974, Quincy's resilience and passion for music never waned. In his later years, Jones became a mentor and advocate for young musicians, promoting music education and inspiring future generations. His passing is a great loss to the music world, but his extraordinary contributions will forever live on through his countless iconic works. CJ Snare, the talented vocalist and founder of the iconic hard rock band Firehouse, passed away on November 15, 2024, at the age of 64. Known for his powerful voice and exceptional songwriting skills, CJ Snare was an integral part of Firehouse, whose self-titled debut album became a sensation in 1990. Born Carl Jonathan Snare on December 14, 1959 in Washington, D.C., his musical journey began in his teenage years. Firehouse's debut album, which featured hits like Love of a Lifetime and When I Look Into Your Eyes, brought the band worldwide fame. Their success was marked by platinum certifications and numerous awards, including an American Music Award for Best New Hard Rock Metal Band in 1992. CJ's influence reached beyond Firehouse as he contributed to other projects, including Rubicon Cross showcasing his skills not only as a vocalist, but as a songwriter and producer. Even after being diagnosed with stage four colon cancer in 2020, he continued to create music and perform with relentless passion until his untimely passing in 2024. CJ Snare's legacy is etched in the hearts of rock fans and his powerful ballads continue to inspire listeners worldwide. Cleo Sylvester, a trailblazer in British theatre and music, passed away on November 20, 2024, at the age of 79. Born on April 19, 1945, in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, Cleo's career was marked by her determination to break barriers in the entertainment industry. From a young age, she was immersed in the arts thanks to her mother, Lauren Sylvester, a well-known cabaret artist. Cleo's music career took flight in 1964 when she recorded a single with the Rolling Stones as her backing band, making her the first woman to record with the legendary group. But it was her work in theater that truly defined her legacy. Cleo became the first black woman to take a leading role in the national health in 1969, breaking racial barriers in British theater. She also starred in iconic British television shows, including Crossroads, where she became the first black woman to have a regular role in a British soap opera. Cleo's advocacy for racial equality and her contributions to the arts were recognized with an MBE in 2023, solidifying her place as a pioneer and an inspiration to future generations. Her legacy of resilience artistry and dedication continues to impact the cultural fabric of the UK. Christine Bison, a French actress who made a significant mark on the world of cinema and theater, passed away on November 21st, 2024, at the age of 68. Born in Salon de Provence, France, on April 8, 1956, Christine's career spanned decades 
from her breakout role in Emmanuel to her work with French cinema's most acclaimed directors. Her career as an actress and her work on stage showcased her remarkable range from tackling complex psychological roles to being a trailblazer for women in French film. Known for her powerful performances in films like Rub Barar and Identific Unadon, Christine became a favorite among both critics and audiences. Her bravery in addressing mental health issues, speaking openly about her struggles in 2010, endeared her to many, cementing her place as a beloved figure in both the film industry and the hearts of fans. Christine Bison's legacy lives on, and she will always be remembered for her grace, honesty, and talent. John Barbada, an American rock drummer known for his work with Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Jefferson Airplane, and The Turtles, passed away on November 18, 2024, at the age of 79. A pivotal figure in the 1960s and 1970s rock scene, Barbada's drumming was the backbone of some of the most influential music of the era. John's unique sound and creativity helped define the Californian rock scene and his work with Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young on Deja Vu remains some of the most revered in rock history. His contributions as a session musician were also vast, lending his talents to some of the era's most important bands. His death marks the loss of one of rock's finest rhythm sections, but his groundbreaking work continues to live on in the music that will forever inspire. And finally, we pay tribute to Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States, who, despite no longer holding office, continues to have a profound influence on global health and wellness initiatives. Though his political career has ended, Obama's efforts to raise awareness about healthcare reform and his work with the Let's Move campaign remain pivotal. His legacy as a statesman, health advocate, and family man will continue to inspire generations to come. As we remember these legendary figures, we ask that you take a moment to reflect on the ways in which they've touched your life. If their stories have inspired you, please consider subscribing to Information World to keep their memories alive. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below. What do you remember most about these legends? We look forward to bringing you more tributes and stories of extraordinary individuals in future episodes. Thank you for joining us today. For joining.